Joe Hopkins here, and I'm, I'm talking about Hard Luck King's guitars, right? I hadn't, hadn't checked out their website in a while, and like two weeks ago, I was doing a video about, you know, budget guitars like I do, and I went to their website, and it wouldn't come up. And I tried it again, it wouldn't come up. And I waited and tried it. I thought maybe it's, you know, maybe they're working on the website. Well, finally, I went online and looked, and a lot of people are saying that they're out of business. And uh, there's a lot of speculation as to why. That's a good question. Why? I don't know. I, I've, lo I've looked online, haven't gotten any information. All I found was a bunch of people back in March... Uh, basically posting on message boards saying, I bought a guitar, I hope it actually shows up, right? Because no website, no email, no phone number, everything's gone. Uh, I never did find out if those people got their guitars because on the message boards, no, nobody comes back and says, hey, I got it or hey, I didn't, you know? I assume because they didn't post another message, they got it. I, I would assume, but I don't really know. This is my Hard Luck Kings guitar. I got a Hard Luck Kings bombshell, right? Look at that color. That's a crazy shade of green, man. And that, that's why I got it. I really, uh, I liked the way their guitars looked. When I first found them, uh, the first thing I saw was this Telecaster that was black on top and pink on the sides and back. And I thought, man, that looks really, really cool, right? And uh, I forget what they call their tellies. Southern Bell, I think. The Strats, they call their bombshell. They got different names for stuff. The Les Paul is the boss man, stuff like that. So anyway, I thought that's really cool. So I, I kept an eye on them. And when it came time to buy a Strat, I wanted a standard Stratocaster style guitar, right? Three single coil pickups, standard Strat. I had my Harmony, but I wanted something maybe a little bit more upscale. And these looked pretty good. I decided to try them out, right? I got this on their daily deals for 200 bucks. Uh, but you know, eh, when you add setup and shipping, it's another hundred dollars, right? Some companies, the setup and shipping is included in the price and some aren't. Hard Luck Kings, it's not. You, you can choose to get a setup or not. And the setup was, well, it's okay. It's an okay setup. It's not the best. Uh, for all that they brag it up, it's good. It's a solidly good setup. It's pretty close to what I wanted. Uh, it, you know... It's not the best setup guitar I have. It's not my favorite guitar, but it's not my least favorite either. I thought they were solidly good guitars. You know, it's got a good neck, good fret work, plays well, sounds really, really good. I give you a demo, show you how it sounds, but I did, I did something to my wrist yesterday. I don't know what, but it, it hurts. I can't even really grip the guitar right now. I can't. So, I, I mean, I can't play. I ain't playing guitar for the next couple days, apparently. But, you know, is what it is. You know what I mean? I went to pick this thing up with my left hand and almost dropped it. But uh, one thing I really liked about Hard Luck Kings is the colors. I haven't seen anybody else with such candy-colored guitars. Even the black guitars look like, it looks like candy. And I like that. I dig it. And I have no idea what actually happened to them. If any of you guys know, leave a comment, man. Tell me what happened to Hard Luck Kings. I really kind of wanted to buy another one of their guitars at some point. I really wanted to get one of their Les Paul style guitars. Uh, the Boss Man, they call it. Something in some kind of wild pink or some hot color like that. And there are other guitar companies that sell guitars in, in hot neon colors. But they're just, it's not quite the same. I don't know, you know, for some reason, the colors that Hard Luck Kings was uh, painting their guitars was just so different than everybody else. I thought, man, that's really cool. If you want something that stands out, that's really good. And it, it is a solidly good guitar. You could gig with this thing. It, they're not terribly expensive. You know, uh, some of their higher-end guitars uh, go up around four or $500. But, you know, they weren't. They weren't super pricey. They were doing short runs, though. So if you see something in the color you like, get it, because they might not have it again. That Telecaster that was the black and pink that I really wanted, I didn't see it again after that. You know, uh, they might have had it and I missed it, but I didn't see it again, even though I really liked the color of it, you know? They're, I don't know what happened to them. 
I've heard some speculation, right? Uh, the, all the speculation about copyright infringement kind of stuff, lawsuits. I don't know. I don't know if I really buy that because everybody has Strat style and Les Paul style guitars. And they're still selling them. And the, the copyright thing seems to have come down to the headstock design uh, more than the guitar design, more than anything else, right? Uh, that seems to be what the ruling is on most of them is you can't, you know, copyright is the headstock, not, not the body of the guitar. And, okay, I can see that. Because uh, a guitar shape is a guitar shape, and there's only so many shapes you can make that are guitar shaped, right? Single cutaway, dual cutaway, you, you got only so many options. Uh, and I've heard some speculation about maybe the guy got in trouble for trolling people online. Apparently the owner of, of Hard Luck Kings did that to some degree, so people say. I don't know. I'm not in a lot of the, the groups and Facebook stuff, so I don't, I haven't seen it personally, but I, I do like their guitars. I really like the one I bought. I really wanted to buy another one. And I'm kind of disappointed that they're gone. Uh, what happened? What happened to them? I mean, there is a lot of a lot of things that can happen to a guitar company uh, or any business. A person can mismanage things a little bit and it catches up to you quick. Not even huge mismanagement. You make the wrong decisions with you know, supply chain stuff and purchasing and run your debt in a bad way and, and you can get under pretty quick. Right, even if you're running a good business, I've seen profitable, good profitable businesses go under because they mismanage their debt. Most businesses carry some debt. You know, it costs money to get started, and most people take out loans, and that can get you in trouble. Is that what happened? Ooh, I can't, I can't pick up the guitar. Oh my god! All right, so if if that's what happened, that's unfortunate. If it's something else, it's unfortunate. I like their guitars. Look at that color. I haven't seen anything else quite like this, color-wise. You know, I've seen other green guitars, but this thing looks, this thing looks like candy. I, I know I said that, it does. They, their guitars look like candy, I like that. It's really cool. And you know, they even paint the back of the neck and every, the whole guitar is just this candy green. It's really cool. But that's one less option that those of us that like budget guitars have that that's that's it we don't have any other options now i did look around uh i noticed that on reverb and uh ebay uh, sweetwater places that sell used guitars they have them in stock right they you can get one second hand you can get one used what i'd also like to know uh you know in the same vein is if they did go out of business what did they do with their guitars, right? Uh, I'm sure they had some stock left. Where did they go? Because apparently the business just disappeared all of a sudden. Well, you got to sell off your stock to someone. Where is it? And can we snatch this stuff up, right? Is there some place where I can get, you know, a discount on a Hard Luck Kings guitar because they're out of business? Who, who'd they liquidate to? Uh, you know? I'd, I'd like to know that. Wouldn't you guys like to know that? If somebody knows, drop a comment down there, let me know, and then I can do a video about where they are and share it with you guys and give you a chance to snatch up some pretty good guitars, especially if they're discounted through that liquidation process. That would be pretty cool, right? Because where, where do you go to liquidate guitars, right? There are a lot of businesses that, uh, that sell overstock liquidation, that kind of stuff. You got places like Ollie's and Big Lots around where I live where uh, companies will sell them large lots of stuff and then they resell it at a discounted price. What do you, where is that for guitars? Because the places I'm talking about, they don't, they don't do it, musical instruments, right? Where did the liquidation go? And can we, can we snatch some of that stuff up? I'd, I'd like to know. Because if I could get the guitar that I was going to buy from them from somewhere else, well, you know, bonus, right? Especially if I get a discount on it. Who wouldn't like that? So, yeah, drop, drop me a line. Anybody with information. What happened to them? Where did their uh, remaining stock end up? You know, I'm curious. I want to know. That's why I'm doing this video, to ask. To ask you guys, 
what happened? Maybe one of you guys knows. And then maybe I can get another Hard Luck King's guitar, because I, I did like them. I also like the t-shirt they sent me with the guitar. It was it's a good looking t-shirt. Anyway, that's my question. I'm looking for answers. I'm asking you guys, because maybe, oof, that hurts, man. Maybe you guys know. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace out, baby. Bye-bye.